Jennifer, you're not board certified, correct? No, I'm not. Not in clinical psychology or in forensic psychology, correct? No, I'm a licensed clinical psychologist. But you're not board certified? No. Okay. And you also have only been Trust me, guys, I don't eat to nails. Oh, no, no. Top left, busted. <laughs> Top left, busted. Uh, no, 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 no. Top left, busted. <laughs> Top left, busted. Uh, be on the board. Who gives a shit you on the board or not? Is that correct? That's not correct. How many years? I've been licensed for 10 years, okay. and I've been practicing for about 15 years. Okay. You went to Mr. Depp's home for dinner and drinks before you were hired as an expert in this case, correct? That's not quite what, right. I was interviewed at- Guys, I feel like she's- uh, Guys, I don't be weird. I think she's way more attractive and uh, cool sounding than, than his, his fucking girlfriend. Mother motherfucker, if, I, if it was me, I'm not gonna say it. Mr. Depp's home by his legal team, dinner was served. And the dinner lasted approximately three to four hours, correct? Yes. And it included the interview. drinks, correct? Yes, dinner and I believe- Guys, 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 I would have dumped the witch and copped an upgrade. Don't care, I said it. Drinks were served. Okay. And don't you think that's a little odd that you're getting interviewed by Mr. Depp to decide whether you're going to testify adversely against Amber Heard? I was interviewed by the legal team. Okay. And Mr. Depp no, no, was it was his home, correct? Yes. And he was serving dinner and drinks. He was correct. not serving dinner and drinks. Well, it was at his house at his behest, correct? Yes, it was at his house. Okay. What's it lagging for? And at that time, you not only knew Johnny Depp, you'd seen a number of his TV and movie roles, and you... Guys, what is it fucking lagging? This is the doctor who did an exam of Amber Heard. This is worth watching her whole testimony. Will you watch her entire testimony on stream? I believed he was a good actor, correct? Not correct. I did not know Johnny Depp. I well, knew oh, okay. It's it's Chad. It's breaking it. Look, now now now, now, now it's gonna stop movies. lagging. You knew See, who he was. now it's not yes. lagging anymore. And you believed he was a good actor. Uh, Moz, you guys not fix that? Where my my it's just it's just it's just glitched up. Like it, chat is draining the fucking my the the. the it's just uh, how do you fix that? Do I just open another chat in another tab, and leave this one to to, to save it? Actor, yes. Correct? Okay. And then. You provided an expert designation in this case before ever seeing Amber or having an opportunity to review any documents or records. Isn't that correct? I did not provide an expert designation. That's, that's an attorney thing. My opinions are contained in my report. This was plaintiff's designation, identification of expert witnesses in this case. And this is dated February 2021. That's a, a year after you went to dinner at Mr. Depp's house, guys, correct? Guys, guys, why aren't they doing like objections? Whatever, guys, guys, isn't she just making a statement here? Guys, she's making a statement while looking at the fucking at the jury, and then she ends up with a question mark. Went to dinner. How, at Mr. how is that? How is that a question? 2021. That's a, a year after you went to dinner at Mr. Depp's house, correct? Yes. Okay. And it attributes if you go to guys, page stop, guys, guys, 13. Guys, you can't like it. It says you have three opinions the first of those is that amber heard quote exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster b personality disorder traits especially borderline personality disorder did i get that right i'm reading that here that is not my opinion okay well but it's, it's a current opinion but this was not an opinion of mine then i didn't have any opinions at that time are you aware that Mr. Oh Depp is on an audio recording years earlier taunting Amber Heard that she has a borderline personality disorder? I was made aware of that in this case, yes. So you heard, did actually that one of the audio not necessarily taunting, to? but I do recall hearing that Mr. Depp had used that phrase. So it's a coincidence that you now think she has those attributes after the attorneys listed it in February 2021 before you'd looked at what? anything. And Mr. Depp had made that accusation to Mr. That is a fucking earlier. stretch. My opinions are Jesus, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm sorry, Dr. Right. Right. Yes. Compound, I'll sustain the objection. All right. It's a coincidence then that you came up with symptoms of borderline personality disorder years later after Mr. Depp has been taunting Ms. Heard in an audio tape. 
I can't them. speak to whether or not there's a coincidence. What I can tell you is my opinions are based on the results of my evaluation. She, guys, guys, she's good. Holy shit. Guys, I feel like somebody that isn't that smart would have would have gotten crushed by this. I know that the it's the law the lawyer's wow. wording it very weirdly and it's, it's kind of annoying of a question and you're kind of like judging her for asking it. But I could definitely see a lot of people failing this and getting crushed under, the, under that fucking question uh, for sure. Now, would you agree that a disproportionate number of women are tagged with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder? No, that's not quite right. And trauma can cause Chat, borderline. Because how do you dispel uh, the fact that it's a coincidence and into the question at the same time? I think that was pretty hard. Personality disorders, can't it? Let me refer, no. let me re 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 back a little bit. And trauma can cause borderline personality disorders, can't it? No. Now, you've never been asked to testify or serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has a bipolar disorder. Is that correct? A bipolar disorder? Yes. That's not correct. Okay. Jesus. He's heard repeatedly and characterologically perpetuated severe physical and psychological intimate partner violence, IPV, toward Mr. Depp over the course of their relationship. End of quote. Did I read that correctly? Uh, it says perpetrated, but other than that, yes. Was Jesus. it misheard? Exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest her allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false. End of quote. Do you see that? I see that. You said it's my third opinion. That is not my opinion. All right, but in this pleading, it says that you will testify to that, correct? Yes, that's what this says. Okay, and that was not your opinion in February 2021, was it? No, as I said, I had not formed any opinions at that time. I had just been retained. And you answered at that time, no, correct? That is correct. And then I asked, have you ever arrived at that opinion in the time that you have served as an expert witness in this case? And your answer was, could you read that to the jury, please? Yes. Um, so no, it's not the task I was cut off, or I, essentially what I read, I, what I said then was, no, Dr. that's Curry. not the task okay. of Dash. That was never my task to determine. Can I say what that means? No. And then okay. the question is, so is it fair to say no. that you have never arrived at an opinion that, quote, now you also have never been asked to testify on whether an individual is being truthful in saying that they are a survivor of IPV. Is guys, that correct? Guys, how are we going to win a jury, right? If she has context for what she's saying, it's a good answer, and she denies the answer, even though she asked the question that she would, you would like to have a good scope of, of, of answer for. Like, what, what, what the fuck is she, what the fuck is that? That, that is how you lose, what the fuck? Is that, how, is that how the point, to win the jury? That's correct. Okay. And you have never qualified as an expert to speak to whether a person suffered from IPV, intimate partner violence, or was a victim or survivor of IPV. Is that correct? That's outside the task of a psychologist to determine whether an event occurred. We assess behavior, we, we assess mental status, we don't detect crimes. So you have not been asked to testify to that, correct? It's not something that occurs, so no, I have not. Disclose in any of the designations or- Jesus. Guys, guys, most of, most of the questions can be found on Google. So why is she why is she asking all this over there? Dinner and drinks with Mr. Depp, correct? I did not disclose that I was interviewed by the legal team. No. This I this a is a bing lawyer. Are you trying to resist that you didn't have dinner with Mr. Depp and drinks? I'm not trying to resist that, but it's not quite right. You did have dinner stating. with Mr. Depp, did you not? I did with and the legal team with and Mr. Depp. Depp. Did you not? And what? You had drinks with Mr. Depp, did you not? Drinks were served. I, this was over two years ago. I may have had a drink with dinner, yes. And you didn't disclose that you had met with Mr. Depp, Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, and Ms. Vasquez at Mr. Depp's house for three to four hours and had dinner and drinks, correct? Just I did that. not disclose that. It's not significant to the report. You don't think that's significant, correct? I don't. And you said no. Correct? Correct. Okay. <laughs> now, Heard is right and Mr. Depp is wrong, correct? So as a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present so science good? regardless of what that science may be. Now, when I take a case, my retainer agreement is explicit about that and I D discuss Dr. that Curry, with I'm the attorneys. Asking you, I'm asking you a question. Guys, what, guys, what the fuck? Guys, how is she so good? I don't get it. 
It, was she, is she fucking like a... Try to answer okay. my question. You understand that if you found favorably to Ms. Hurd and negatively to Mr. Depp, you wouldn't yeah, be Yeah, she's there, smurfing. Right? You wouldn't be testifying. Objection speculation. No, I... Oh, okay, sorry. Hold on. Objection speculation. I, I, that's, that's not speculation. No, I'll sustain the objection if you want to ask. Okay. If... You knew a long time? Yeah, but she's on her feet, though. It goes to bias, Your Honor. I sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. All right. Guys, I, guys, something I notice a lot is that um, Amber Heard's lawyers, they, they seem to contest and argue the judge a lot. And sometimes they win and they lose. But who does that shit? You were, in fact, so excited about being involved in this case that you told your husband, even though this was a highly confidential matter, they, like they, that they, you they, were they going try to it. be conducting the examination of Ms. Heard, didn't you? That is not accurate. You not only told lawyers, me, no. But you told me you don't argue. No, that you told I, could be, I could be wrong. I don't want to cut it off, guys. You don't. You don't argue the, with the judge. It's an objection, right? It's a wise objection. Then they 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 sustain or they overrule, right? Right? But whenever she they, they she gives a decision, no, it's 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 fucking sustained, overruled. You don't. They don't argue with it. They have a point. They they can go up front and say why and whatever and explain. And sometimes they get away with it. But you don't. They, that's just weird. Correct? Husband, correct. I'm saying correct. It's gonna happen. I'm being corrupted. So I'm being corrupted. You're incorrect. That is not correct. You, you, is your testimony Dude. today under oath that you did not tell your husband Wait, that you were going? Go back. I missed something. Ms. Bredehoff, that is not accurate. What is accurate that you told your husband, correct? You not only told your husband, but you told Ms. Heard that you told your husband, correct? Ms. Bredehoff, that is not accurate. What is accurate? You're incorrect. That is not correct. You, you, is your testimony today under oath that you did not tell your husband that you were going to be conducting the examination of Amber? That is my testimony. Okay. So the question that was asked was because you brought muffins, you said from your husband, right? You get and you gave those to Miss Heard, correct? May I clarify what occurred so that we can stop talking about the muffins? What happened was that. I was getting ready that morning. I frequently bring muffins to the office. My husband did happen to know that there was going to be a celebrity client coming in because on the mornings that that occurs, which often occurs, we have to actually clear the office and move the staff to the other office. So yes, on the one hand, he was aware of that. I was getting ready. I asked him to go to the bakery near our house and pick up the muffins for me because I was running late. He often has to do that because I often do run late. He brought the muffins back to the house. I brought them into the office. Ms. Hurd and I enjoyed the muffins together. I think I made a comment to her along the lines like, we can thank my husband, he brought, or my husband got these for us today, meaning he purchased the muffins. We are now enjoying them because of him. Did, did yes, yes, what? What was with the muffins? Guys, what was with the muffins? Were the muffins drugged or some shit like that? Was it, were they laced? Did somebody die? What happened with the muffins? Did you say on pages 305 and 306 that you frequently have examinations of high-profile clients? You want to just take a quick look and tell us? Uh, what, 305, 306? Yeah, that's where we're talking about it. Is there a line you'd like me to look at? You can start with uh, 15, line 15, 305. Just read through that and tell oh, me whether you I said get it. anywhere in there that you have... Confidentiality means that she told examinations. her... Examinations, you do this frequently. I get it, I get it. I don't agree. Won't you approach, please? Oh, she doesn't agree. Oh, wow. Why did your husband get the muffins for Amber Heard? He did not get the muffins for Amber Heard. He knew you had a high-profile client, and he was, and you were preparing for a very long time, and you asked him to pick up the muffins, correct? I asked him to pick up the muffins for me, yes. Okay. You didn't diagnose. You didn't guys, actually have. Guys, she thinks that she got him. Yeah, she thinks that that she just got him to her, right? She's like, ha, got him, dude. She thinks so, right? DSM five diagnosed. That is that's that Amber fucking. Amber Heard suffers from either borderline personality disorder or histrionic personality disorder. Correct? Holy shit! That's not correct. Your, in fact, your report says Ms. Heard demonstrates psychological symptoms of a combined borderline and histrionic personality disorder. Would you agree? 
Yes, I did say that in also what designation was that? I believe January 18th, that report was included. Yes. Okay. And that's what you said at that time, correct? Yes. Okay. I said a little bit more than that as well. You said, and I'll read it, I'll quote it, quote, based on the combined results of my interview with Ms. Hurd, behavioral observations, psychometric test data, and review of the available records, Ms. Hurd demonstrates psychological symptoms mm -hmm. of a combined borderline and histrionic personality disorder, BHPD. That's yes. what you wrote in your report as one of your conclusions, correct? And that's a DSM-5 diagnosis. And it did not say that you were diagnosing with a DSM-5 for borderline personality disorder or histrionic personality disorder, did it? That's what it says in different semantics. Oh, so, so, so what you meant to it say... It did not use the words you just said. So, so now we have an evaluation of Rocky Pennington. No, from I just said our but reading that comprehension? was not relevant to my opinion because I'm only evaluating Ms. Hurd. But you testified to that on direct that that was a factor, right? Yes. Okay. Well, wouldn't it make a big difference if Amber struck first or just responded back? Given the dynamic, not necessarily. No, it would not have. So, so now you're an expert on Rocky Pennington and her dynamics with a Amber Hurd. Uh, okay, and do you remember Dr. Cowan testifying that on another occasion, Amber sent him a text, Johnny beat me up pretty good last night, end of quote. Again, I... Not in this constant. She she's, can rely on it. She testified. Over, overrule. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I didn't need to argue that hard, I guess. Do you recall that? In Bonnie Jacobs' notes, she documents... However, oh, go ahead. She documents multiple multiple occasions that Amber Heard reports to her physical violence uh, upon her by Mr. Depp, does she not? There are several notes that indicate that Ms. Heard has reported violence by Mr. Depp, yes. M many, many, correct? I wouldn't qualify it as many, many. I'm guys, not sure what you mean. Guys, didn't you tell her earlier that, the, that, that her job is to get the info that she's given and, and analyze the behavior and, and put that in it? and not to see if a crime has been committed or not. So whatever she's saying right now is completely useless given the answer she was given earlier. So why is she even bothered with this shit? How many, how many would you say? I don't know, I don't have the notes in front of me. Now, you also said that you listened to audio tapes in this case, correct? Yes. Did you hear yes. Mr. Depp admitting to headbutting Ms. Heard? That is not what I heard. You didn't hear that? I heard a conversation about headbutting. I did not hear him as you said, admit to headbutting Ms. Heard. Okay, that's your characterization of it, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, the, did you see the video of Mr. <laughs> Depp in the kitchen? Yes. He gets it. Did Ms. Heard Lord imagine doesn't. that or create that or was she responsible for that somehow? Objection, I'll sustain the objection. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Um, what, if any, impact did you have, did that have on your opinions watching Mr. Depp in that video? I'm not sure it, it was one of many pieces of the exhibits and other collateral data that I considered. I'm not sure what the direct impact was or if that could be measured. Do you recall Damn, Dr. Blaustein Jesus. referring to Mr. Depp having rage? No, I actually recall him referring to Ms. Hurd in that note. Your testimony is that Dr. Blaustein was referring to Amber Heard as having rage? I transcribed several of the notes and I may be missing a time when he I said that about Mr. Depp. His, the handwriting is very yeah, difficult. Yeah, is he like a therapist? Yes, yes, if, my, if my therapist is gonna be like this smart, I mean, I'm, I have to get checked in, man. Holy shit, man. To transcribe, but there was one instance in which I recall transcribing him. What, man? stating that Mr. Depp reported that Ms. Hurd had rage. Now, Amber's medical examination, she was cooperative, correct? Not the norm? Her yeah, psychological, I... yes. She was cooperative and polite. Okay. And, and in the two full days of examination, you felt she was polite and answered all your questions. This lawyer is off the book, no cap where she what the fuck is this lady on about? When you were asking Lord. about... Wait, let me repeat this again. 
except in one instance where she furrowed her brow when you were asking about friendships in high school, correct? That's not correct. All right, let's go to page 275. So we start on 274 with the, was she polite? You said yes. Was she cooperative? Yes. I'm um, not a celebrity. Your questions? For the most part, yes. This is, uh, now we're on page 275. Guys, guys, I said this, I guess, I guess. And then my question. I said, this, I said before, I said it again. I don't want to downplay anything, guys. I'm not a fucking celebrity. No streamer is a fucking celebrity. And most big YouTubers are not celebrities. You wonder why? Celebrity is somebody that goes, that is, that is a mainstream. They're on TV. They're, they're, people know them without knowing them. People have seen their movies. Guys, you, you guys know a bunch of actors you don't know by name, right? A bunch of them, right? Unless you are directly involved, right? Yeah, you guys know me. Yeah, but this amount of followers, amount of followers. I go on the street, I'm a fucking nobody. I'm gonna wait, and I will probably never change. Why? Because I'm not a fucking celebrity. In, in, in this realm, we're, we're capped up. Guys, there's clout and there's fame. These guys are famous. I have uh, some modicum level of clout. That's just how it is. Question was, did she at any time become combat combative or unfriendly with you or angry? And your answer was, there was one instance in which she appeared annoyed and the posturing forward a bit, more assertive tone, furrowed brow, when I was questioning something, following up on data that had been inconsistent about friendships in high school. Other than that, she was very polite. Is that your answer at that time? That was my answer at that time, and it's inconsistent with the question you had just asked me. It's common for the perpetrator to essentially gaslight the victim, accuse them of being the perpetrator. Would you agree? That's exactly how it was asked in the deposition. So yeah, I'm I, it is a compound question. I'll okay. the objection. And it's common for the perpetrator to essentially gaslight. I don't think that's... Your Honor, it's just, Shut up, it's just one question. You are a celebrity. Um, let me try I'm it. Just not... To gaslight the victim, isn't it? That's a characteristic guys, of a psychological... Guys, guys, listen in. Let me explain what happens when you're a celebrity, okay? Let's say she has her office with her about fucking muffins. They said lady muffins, okay? He has her muffins at the office, okay? Okay, okay? Leonardo DiCaprio walks in. What do the fucking, what do the fucking staff do? They go, oh, okay? Next morning, I, I have a rendezvous, I have a meeting with this girl. I open the front door, I walk in. What do the people do in the office when they see me? They go, oh. That's what happens. That's the difference. These guys are famous. I'm not. Yes, it, yes. Uh, okay. And, and it's Jesus, common man. then for them to accuse Christ, them man. of being the perpetrator, the victim. That's a characteristic of abuse from women perpetrated against men. It's actually very, very common. About 90% of male victims of IPV have reported that this a female partner who abuses them with makes muffins. threats to Mr. Cow, I think you uh, would love therapy. I, I, I love you, Mr. I'm watching this, man. I'm watching this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, of male yes, victims yes. of IPV oh. have reported that a female partner who abuses them makes threats to uh, report their partner as an abuser. It's less common for men to make that statement to female partners just because there's less potential consequence. Damn, that, that was... Damn, dude. See? Guys, I feel like if you said that and you worded it poorly, people would try to people would get mad at this, right? But that was kind of that was kind of BZ, but very well well put. It's actually very very common. Uh, yes. Okay, and and it's common then for them to accuse them of being the perpetrator, the victim. That's a characteristic of abuse from women perpetrated against men. It's actually very very common. About 90% of male victims of IPV have reported that a female partner who abuses them makes threats to uh, report their partner as an abuser. It's less common for men to make that statement to female partners just because there's less potential consequence. Jesus. Man, that, that, that actually could apply to the case. I mean, but, but guys, now I'm biased. Guys, now if, you guys, if, I, if, I, if I watch more of these guys, I guess I'm biased. Um, towards the testimony, guys, because I like her. I, I like her. So whatever, whatever happens, whatever happens, whatever she says, I, I'm, I'm already biased on her side. That's not fair, man. What? It's not because she's hot. I mean, it helps. But I mean, fuck, man. Hey, guys, 
Man, human nature is so fucked, guys. It's too cooked. Guys, guys, I guess I'm a victim of, of, of my own nature, man. What can I can, can I say, man? I mean, it does help, but you, you guys, you don't want it to help, but it does. But then you're like, I want to stay biased, I'm unbiased, but then she's hot. Like, uh, dude, what, dude, what can you do? What can you do? I mean, if, if you're in a jury, what can you do also? You're bricked. Well, you can't do anything. This is just not right. Is it? Yeah, XUC, it's for Mark from yesterday. Night I've been bullied all day by a buddy TTs. What I tried to ask was if that one mod of Zredimus could get a cut. Could you state your full name for the record? Dude, dude. Yeah, how much, man? But it's that's, that's fucking annoying. Is it? What do you do for a living? I am a clinical and forensic psychologist. What's your educational background? I received. Well, I started college at Georgetown University. I then transferred to the University of California, Irvine, where I received my bachelor's degree in psychology and social yeah, behavior. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I'll probably watch it on my own, to be honest, because it's seven hours, dude. That, that is a that is, that is a dank that amount of time. Chat, guys, 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 what, what, guys, what's tomorrow, guys? Tomorrow we might watch it live, though. I completed my master's degree in psychology at the uh, at Pepperdine University. I went on to complete my doctoral degree in clinical psychology at Pepperdine University. Oh, only three included minutes. Several training rotations at different practicum sites. Those are essentially clinical rotations we do to learn various types. Oh, of okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, guys, um, you need to see only the first three minutes. Why? Of psychology, you learn how to do psychological assessment, counseling, etc., and you do that in a variety of different settings. Why? And then I completed a year-long doctoral internship at What the, the fuck? This chat. Mommy Baba. Booba. Exclamation mark drop. Guys, these are all these are, these are all of yours from here, man. Mommy Booba. Jesus. Association accredited uh, doctoral internship. You do this year before you get your degree, and that was at Tripler Army Medical Center. Um, it's traditionally okay. a military internship. Okay, boys. Um, she's talking about the disorder. Okay, I'll watch this after I'm done. Did there come a time when you met directly with Ms. Hurd? Yes, I did. So in conducting my evaluation, I met with Ms. Hurd on two separate dates. Yeah, so is she cooked? December 10th and December 17th, 2021. I want to see what she has, actually. How much time have you spent with Ms. Hurd? So the evaluation, uh, we spent 12 hours directly. Yeah, so she, guys, guys, so she's, I mean, from the, from the tapes, you can, you can tell she's ill. I mean, I, I think, I think a good, I think a good part of the population, if dissected and, and we're going to see a professional, yeah, I think a, I think a good, good amount of people are, are ill. I mean, I think I have my, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I have my own, you know, small, uh, maybe a small ill, but what, is, is she ill? One another. Um, however, there were more there were more hours involved in the evaluation with some breaks. So no? we spent seven hours together on the first day. As, the res as a result of the work that you performed, did you form any opinions with respect to Ms. Hurd? I did. What were those opinions? I uh, the results Link, of Ms. Hurd's evaluation supported I've put two it on repeat diagnoses. Over well, I want this personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. What's that? Are you aware that Mr. Depp this? is on an audio recording years earlier taunting Amber Heard that she has a borderline personality? Uh, personality, personality disorder is by pattern of excessive attention seeking behaviors, usually beginning early in childhood, inappropriate seduction, and excessive desire for approval. Oh, shit. Maybe I got some of that shit, man. Fuck me. Um, craving attention, pride of own personality, unwilling to change, excessive sensitivity to criticism, uh, making rash decisions, rapidly shifting emotional states, low tolerance for frustration, or delayed gratification, 
Blaming personal failures is when on others. Being influenced by others with no retreat them approval. Being overly dramatic and emotional. Personality disorder? I was made aware of that in this case, yes. So you heard, did is actually, that one of the audio not necessarily taunting, but I do recall hearing this that entire Mr. chat Jeff has that disorder. Had used that phrase. Would you agree that a disproportionate number of women are tagged with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder? No, that's not quite right. What? 75%? Guys, she's a tabloid. Guys, guys, we don't even see this. The way you phrase it is not Amber Heard quite is right. like that girl me, who is really right. hot, but okay. everyone avoids so because she smokes there cigarettes. There are more women who have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder than men. It's more prevalent in women. And trauma can cause borderline personality. Oh, you just saw that, you're right. No, never. Right now, we know that there are people who have borderline personality disorder who have sustained childhood trauma. There are also people who have borderline personality disorder who have had no childhood trauma. So like most personality disorders and really like most mental health issues in general, there seems to be both a biological component. In this case with borderline personality disorder, the research tends to support a genetic component and possibly a neurological component. And then there is also possibly an environmental component triggering those genetic markers. Would you agree Jesus. that if L -L 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 you did not find something that would be in favor of Mr. Depp and a negative to Ms. Hurd, that you wouldn't be an expert in this case? That Essentially, I can bring you into court if, you, if you're going to say that Ms. Hurd is so, right and Mr. Depp is wrong. Right, so, as a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present science regardless she said, what? of what that science may be. Now, when I take a case, my retainer agreement is explicit about that. Guys, I, I wasn't paying attention when this was happening because I, I was, I was, pa I was pausing Paul. Sorry.